data center itself, what you saw there, was um, fully operational. Um, we, we render about, when I said it's a gross, a uh, little under 14,000, we render about 80%, 85% of that as customer space. And so the space, power cooling, is the core infrastructure business that we provide, and then we support their, their um, operating systems, not their applications, up, um, up through that, whether it's Microsoft or Unix or whatever, you know, or Linux, rather, or whatever it may be. Uh, we started actually in cloud about five years ago. We were a little bit ahead of the curve <coughs> when it came to cloud. It sort of morphed from uh, virtualization, server virtualization, into cloud. And cloud represents about 30% um, of our sales every month, so it's a big, big deal. What, what it's done for us is created an environment where a customer can come in and basically acquire the services he needs on a partitioned basis, as opposed to having to bring in a one use server, which doesn't really get utilized 100% of the time, cloud provides you a more efficient utilization of, of uh, compute and storage. So um, when you saw the space that we have our cloud infrastructure in, we could have um, almost as many customers on cloud as we do in the data center itself. Mm -hmm. And we actually look at cloud as a somewhat of a data center within the data center. And that cloud infrastructure actually pays Charlotte or Atlanta or Nashville for the utilization of that space and power. So it's created internally, we created as a separate business so we can keep track of profit, loss, capital expenditures, et cetera. It's a